come back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this lovely turtleneck cape dress with net sleeve as you can see right there. So I, I actually attached one sleeve and you can see the princess that right here looking so beautiful. So at the end of this tutorial, I'll be finishing this sewing of this dress okay so if this is what you want to learn in this class i will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn more so we are going to draft our basic bodies pattern here is the front pattern and this is the back pattern i've already drafted it anyway and i know you know how to uh, draft your basic bodies so i have my boss that there and if you look at the back, you can see we have the two inches difference because of the boss that technique. So the neckline is one and the neck width is three inches. That is three by one inch for the back neckline. And the front is three by three. That is three inches by width and three inches by depth for this particular dress. So I'm going to divide my shoulder seam line into two and get the midpoint. That is the first thing I'm doing. So I'm going to connect it to my bust point. So after connecting to my bust point, this is my chest line and my under bust point and my waist line. I know you are familiar with this. My waist that is 1.5. So my bust that is 2 inches. The difference between the back and the front is 2 inches because of the boss that technique. So, I'm going to take the measurement of the armhole from the shoulder to my bust side. So, here I have 10 and half. I'm going to divide it into 2 and I have 5.25. So, I'm going to mark 5.25 at the midline of this pattern. Then I'm connecting my princess dart. So I'll go ahead and place my ruler and connect my princess dart from the armhole to the bust point. So that is the first princess dart. I'm going to come down by one inch and connect the second dart. So I'm going to draw my line. As you can see me place my pattern ruler right now. I'll come out a little bit by one inch to accommodate the princess that on the armhole. So I'll place my pattern ruler and reconnect my new armhole. So after doing that, we want to contour the under bust right now. So on the under bust, I'm going to place my tape from the first dart and measure one inch. Just measure one inch if you're on a normal size. If you're on a plus size, measure one and a half. Super plus size, 1.3, 1.75, which is one and three quarter. So I'm just using one inch and it's very much okay. So just connect it to the waistline. Then coming over to the other part of the dart, I'll simply place my pattern ruler on the bust point and on the dart point and connect. Then place my ruler straight from this point to that point. So it actually looks simple to make your princess dart this way. So I'm going to cut out, as you can see me, I'm cutting out the neckline because I'm done with the princess dart uh, drafting for this particular dress so i'm going to cut 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 right now so i believe you are seeing my cutting lines so i'll go ahead and cut by the side go into the bust that and cut into the armhole so i just want to separate the back and front so it will be easy and simple for us to cut so i'll cut the darts right now so i'll be able to close my boss that so i'm cutting the first princess dart, which is by the center front area and i'm going to cut the second dart from the waist that to the armhole after that is done i'm going to close up my boss that right now i'm going to place my adhesive on the boss that two inches and i'm going to close my boss that so here you can see we are done with the front pattern and the front pattern is as easy 
and simple as you see me draft and cut. So I'll go over to the back right now. So here is my back and you can see my zipper allowance of one inch. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to contour my waist, my zipper by 0 0.75, which is three quarter. So at that three quarter point, I'll place my, my pattern ruler as you can see, and I'm going to cut off that excess for zip bulge. So this is my dart. So from the center front, I took my dart at my nipple to nipple or my waist divide by four and divide by two. So whichever one is good for your dart. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to place any dart at the back. The back is going to be that less. So I'm cutting it off. So I'm going to take the measurement of my actual waistline, divide by four and mark on the pattern and add one inch for my zipper. Then I'll place my tape on that uh, zip contour line to measure my bust circumference divided by 4 plus 1 inch for my zipper. And then I'll reconnect this line. Initially, I drafted this pattern with my waist dart allowance. So now I'm taking it off and I have taken the actual waist and bust measurement for the back. So the back is very simple, as you can see, I'm cutting it off right now. So I'm cutting into the armhole to the contour line for the zipper, to the neckline, which is one inch depth. Then I finally cut out the shoulder line. So the back is ready. The next is to... All the patterns are ready now. I'm going to cut them on fabric, as you can see. So I will go over to the fabric now, which I've cut, and I've added my necessary seam allowance on the zipper line for the back. I added one inch, and I have my lining, as you can see. Then on the side, I added 1.5 inch for stitching, and half an inch for all other sides. I added one and a half on the side and 0 0.5 on the seam lines. Okay, so the center front is on fold as you can see. So I'm not padding this dress at all. You can go ahead and pad with your wadding, hair stay, and all of that. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to show you how to go about this beautiful cape. So I'm going to stitch the front piece together. I will stitch the fabric bustier, the princess that starting all the way from the waistline. So if you are stitching your princess that just sew from the waistline into the armhole, okay, that is the right way to sew your princess that. So I will repeat the same for the lining as well. So here you can see I'm done sewing. So like I said, you can go ahead and pad. I did not pad, okay, but you can go ahead and pad or you can use your bust a cup, your, your cup for this, okay, bust cup. So now I'm done. I'm going to sew the back, the fabric to the fabric back to the front fabric. I'm going to sew them on the same lines. So I'm arranging it to go to my machine to sew 0 0.5 inch on the seam lines. Then I will repeat the same for the lining. So here you can see I'm done sewing as you can see. And that is the neckline. And here my lining, I'm also done sewing and that is the neckline. So the next we are going to do is to take the measurement of this neckline. And that is how the measurement we are using to cut out the cape. So I'm taking the measurement, as you can see, from one end to the other. So here I have 21 inches. So I will mark out one inch for my zipper and create a notch. So I'm not going to sew my cape to the zipper point. I'm making my notch. And I'm going to sew my zipper at that point. So here I have 21 inches. I'll just take away 2 inches because of the zipper. And I have 19 inches. So here is my cape. 
So my cape is at 19, but I actually added 3 inches. Just add 3 inches, okay, to it. So the width of my cape is 7 inches as well. And it's on fold. So since it's on fold, I folded it again. And I came up by 2 inches at that edge. And I'm going to make the curve for this cape and cut it out as you can see. So that is the folded part I'm cutting off. So here is the shape of this cape, and this is where we are going to attach on the neckline. So I will advise you to hair stay this, to make, just double hair stay it, to make the cape stand very well. You can also use your pepper stay if you want to make it stand very well, but I'm just stitching it like that. So here you can see where I stitched and I'm cleaning up the edges. So, after stitching it on the side, you'll be leaving the straight part open. That is where we are going to attach on the neckline. So, you can go ahead and give it a good press after turning your cape. So, this is the shape of the cape you are going to have, as you can see. So, I'll put the cape together and get the mid point because you are going to attach it to the neckline right away. So I'll bring in my dress now and I'll also put the seam line to seam line to get the center front neckline to attach my cape accordingly. So I'm going to place my cape right side to right side of the dress together with the notch I just made right now. So I'm going to sew from the center front to the end and from the center front. So here I've done that and you can see my zipper is open right there. So at that point of my zipper that is open, I will advise you to first sew your zip before you sew this cape. This is a demonstration tutorial, so that's why I have to sew the cape. Or you have to sew your zipper before the cape. So here... I'm going to pin the sides shoulder seam line of the lining to match up with shoulder seam line of the fabric. So I'll pick up the other side where we have the shoulder seam line and also make sure they match up together. So after that is done, I'm going to secure my pin all around the neck line. Go over to my machine and follow the stitches at the back and stitch it to the end of the stitches where we have the cape so here you can see what i have and i have my seam lines holding the lining and the fabric so i'll go over to the machine now flip the seams to the side of my lining because i want to top stitch so i'm going to flip my seams and top stitch to the end so here you can see my top stitches are looking so beautiful and the front is looking neat as well so the neckline is very much ready as you can see so the next we are going to do is to sew the sides at 1.5 inch or 1 inch depending on the seam allowances you added so i'm going to sew all the sides of this dress including the size of the lining as well so here my dress is ready and the zipper space is there for you to stitch the zipper so I'm going to sew the sleeve right now. So I'm going to use my basic sleeve pattern for this. So of course you know how to draft your basic uh, sleeve pattern. So my fabric width is 15 inches on fold. Okay, you have to make it 15 inches or 16 or more on fold, depending on the gathers you want on the elbow line. So um. Reducing it to 15 inches because that is what I'm using for this. I'll place my pattern as you can see and the length is before the elbow line in between the elbow and the three-quarter line. You can see where I'm touching just in between the elbow and three-quarter line of the sleeve. So I'm going to add 0 0.5 inch for my seam allowance and add one inch on this side then take it all the way to the 15 inches okay so that's going to be the shape of your sleeve so here i'm going to place it again to cut out the front piece so the front is usually deeper than the back so i'm trimming it off as you can see so make a notch to identify the front as well 
So I'm going to place my lace on top of this and cut out the shape of the sleeve. So I'll go ahead and cut out the shape of the sleeve after placing and arranging my sleeve. So I'm just working on only one piece of this sleeve. But please, when doing this, of course, you know, we have two sleeves here. So you are going to cut two of this sleeve. So here, I'm cutting out the lace. So after that, I'm going to sew the size of this lace. I'm going to stitch the size of the lace to hold them in place. Then I'll gather the hem part. So here I've gathered it as you can see. So that is where we are going to attach our peplum. So I'm going to take the measurement of my elbow line where I want the sleeve, uh, the peplum to be attached. So here I have 12 inches. I measure it on the gathered line, added one inch, which is 13 inches for stitching the sides. So here I'm going to put it together and sew the side of this sleeve. So here the sleeve is ready. I'll just tri uh, trim out the SS lace part. Then we are going to cut out the flay part of this sleeve. We, our measurement was 12 inches. So I'm just going to fold it and we are folding 360 degrees. So that 12 inches I have, I, I'm going to divide it by 6.28, 6.28. So the, I'm folding my sleeve the first time at seven inches length and I'm going to fold it again the second time at seven inches length as well. So here, I'll now take off my two two inches. Okay, that is twelve divided by six point two eight. Add one inch. That is thirteen divided by six point two eight. I have two inches here. So these two inches, I'm going to mark it out as my radius all around. Then the rest of what I have on the uh, sleeve, I just fold there. That should be five point five inches. So I'll mark 5.5 inches all around from the radius line to form the flay for the sleeve. So I'll just go ahead and cut out the flay for the sleeve and cut out the radius. So here I have my full circle for the attachment of the sleeve. So I'll bring in my sleeve right now on the gathered part and I'm going to sew around it as you can see. So after sewing, this is what I have. So I'm going to quickly attach this to the bodies of this beautiful cape dress we made. So on the armhole part, I'm going to locate the part that is the, I notched for the front sleeve. Make sure you locate the part for the front sleeve, very important. So I'm going to turn over my sleeve right now and insert the sleeve. Match it to the shoulder seam line and match it to the armhole seam line as well. You can go ahead and secure with your pin, both lining and fabric. So here you can see the beautiful sleeve I have. So I am done with this tutorial and you can see the neckline. So later I'm going to sew the other part of the sleeve as well. Then attach my peplum on the waistline as you desire. So I believe our cape dress is very beautiful as you can see and you learned something new in this class as well. So if you are new to this channel, I will encourage you to kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell and see you in the next class.